Welcome back to part three and we're looking at the new ICS charger, the H7D. We're going to look at the commissioning process. So step one is to ensure the charger's powered on and it should show a pulsating blue light and that means everything is okay and we're ready to begin the commissioning process. So step two is to pick up the charger's Wi-Fi access point and to do that we're using a mobile phone on this occasion but you can use any device that will be able to pick up the Wi-Fi from the charger and then we'll look into commissioning this charger as well. So step three is to connect it to the ICS access point. Once you've found it via your Wi-Fi settings on your device, just click on to the relevant point and it will come up for a password. This password is in the instruction manual given with the ICS charger itself and you're going to follow this procedure to ensure the commissioning process is correct. Once we've connected to the access point, we're then going to type in this IP address and this is going to direct us to the username and password section which is found in the user manual where you can get all the required details to ensure you can connect to this charger. So once you've completed that step, you will then be prompted to enter a new password. As per the new security checks, the engineer will have to fill in a new password and confirm that to ensure they can continue with the commissioning process. So once you've changed your password, you'll be then prompted to put your username in and your new password to ensure that you can connect safely to this device. So once that step's completed, you will then be presented with this page. The information on this page doesn't need to be changed, but this is all set up to go in line with the free ICS app. So we'll click the next step, then you're presented with this next page, which is where we can make the connection via the Wi-Fi or the hardwired Ethernet connection. So once we've selected Wi-Fi, we'll click the scan button and it's going to bring us up with the required Wi-Fi points available. We will select the required Wi-Fi and from that point we will connect to the charger itself. So in this next step, we've got the configuration for the off-peak times, but we've turned these off in this instance as this is a commercial installation not required. But you would configure this as per the job if this was something that needed to be done. So once you've configured it, you would then click the next step, which brings you to the complete box. And as you can see, initialization is completed. Please press confirm to continue. So once that's completed, the charger will then reboot and the commissioning process is completed. So once the commissioning process is complete, the customer then can download the free ICS app where they can create a login. Once they've created the account, they can scan the QR code on the side of the charger, connect it up, and then they are ready to charge that EV. So now the charger is connected to the customer's app, the customer then can make changes to their charge schedules as well as integrate the system into their solar PV and energy storage system as they would require. So this ICS charge is available at all CEF stores, please contact your local store for further information. On that note, I'm getting out of here. By the way, please like, subscribe and leave any comments and look forward to some more future videos.